Well, here we go, guys. Uh, review two of two. Uh, we're still at Crazy Pedro's, and this one is the Godfather pizza. If I bring this up to the camera the best I can. This is your standard sort of ragu with meatballs sort of pizza. That is a massive slice. Massive. I know. She was... Yeah, probably the best, yeah. Yeah. I love the ladies' pizza. I'll bring this humongous door wedge up to the camera so you can see what we're rolling with here. That's a lot of toppings. It looks spectacular. Yeah. So this one is spicy meatballs, tomato ragu, parmesan shavings, rocket and garlic oil. Remember, you can come in here and get just get a slice of that for a quid. You could choke a donkey on this slice. <laughs> this is massive. Look at that. Yeah, let's chin, get chin, bro. One second. I have to fold this carpet. One sec. <laughs> there we go. Just look at the bottom as well. I'll try and do this without dropping all the uh, toppings. The bottom is cooked to perfection. Oh my god. I just feel like, like someone's giving me a big hug. I, I like homely. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like when you, you know, like f feeling when you, when you, when you eat a big bolognese and you're dead full of content or like a big lasagna. Something really Italian. Yeah. Just swinging for the fences, isn't it's it? It's got that sort of home cooked flavour to it. Yeah, yeah. It? In like, a nice way. Yeah. That is a really, like really, really nice flavour. Mm. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with a meatball. But they've nailed that taste. Yeah, wow. that ragu's really... I don't, I want to use the word rich, but it's not too rich. It's just really rich, as in, it makes it dead... dead Italian. It just tastes really Italian, and then the, the shavings at the end. And ice, but even the what's the green on it? The it's got parmesan and garlic oil, I think. Yeah, garlic oil. Garlic oil. So I want to say this tastes like a a subway meatball roll, but it's not doing it justice because it's really tasting leaps and bounds better than, than a subway. Yeah, mm. and there isn't any heat to this at all. It's just Italian flavours all over the place. Really nice. And they're just massive pieces of pizza, aren't they? Listen, well, I've said it before, they, it, Crazy Pedro serves a purpose. It's not, it's not trying to be anything. It's not, it's not trying to be a pizza restaurant. It's just trying to be a cool dive bar that serves pizza and cocktails and drinks with quirky names, quirky toppings, but they're actually doing a decent job at it. Yeah, I mean these me. aren't off, too off the wall, they, they do loads of crazy different flavours. They normally have a weekly special which involves like different crisp and stuff on top or wacky sauces. Yeah. These are quite tame in comparison to what they normally do. And to be honest, when I used to live in Withenshaw in South Manchester, there's a local place I used to go to quite regularly with the missus and she would order um, a pepperoni pizza all the time and I would order a meatball pizza all the time because it's kind of like my favourite pizza. And yeah, definitely lives up to its reputation. I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but a couple of years ago, they got into almost a, mm. they put drumstick lollies on a pizza. And them and Domino's got into a war on Twitter for some reason, I can't remember why. And this is, this is the sort of place it is, they just wind people up through social media, you know, because they just don't take themselves seriously. Yeah. They, when they see exactly what this is and what this venue is, it's just, just a laugh, isn't it? It's just somewhere cool. And they got into to this sort of debate with Domino's, they threw Domino's right under the bus, but then Swizzles got on it because they, they were putting drumstick lollies on the, on the pizza that they'd been called out for by, by uh, Domino's. And Swizzles jumped on board and then took their side on that. And it was a really cool thing on Twitter a couple of years ago that went on. All in jest. Yeah, all in jest, but it's just, just this is the sort of place you sort of deal with it, it's just underground, yeah. urban, it's cool, it's different. Decor's ace, isn't it? Yeah, you can tell from the decor that they don't take themselves seriously and it's really funky. I like it. Even if we're next door is NQ64. I 
I don't know if I'm making this up. I think when you're in NQ64, you can order pizza from Pedro's and take it into you. That'd be good. That is a thing. It is a thing. I've just, it's just okay. resonated with me then. That's good when, you, when you're in NQ64, the arcade sort of place, the retro gaming centre next yeah. door, you can order P Pedro's and they bring the pizza over to you while you're playing the games. That's called being a good neighbour, isn't it? It is being a good neighbour. Well, it's the sort of place, like I said, they're just not taking themselves too seriously. Which I think the food game needs sometimes. There's too many, too many serious people in this business. Yeah. So this one, £19 uh, outside of happy hour. Uh, and it's a 16 inch pizza. So it's about the same price as where you pay for most places. But don't forget, this is Miller Northern Quarter and it's that level. So. And happy hour at 12.50 or £3 a slice. Either way, and you've got two for one cocktails on happy hour. And at what time's happy hour? Five, five till ten at night. That's a Sunday. more than an hour. <laughs> Somebody needs yeah. to go back to school for that. Yeah, five till five till ten at night. Twelve fifty a pizza or three pound slices, two for one cocktails. Right. It's, it's just incredible. Right. Give you time. I'll go first this time. Yeah, you go first. Um, that's my <laughs> favourite kind of pizza, so I'm a little bit biased, but I'm going to say everything was there. Worked really well. Would have maybe preferred, excuse me, would have preferred maybe just a little bit more sauce. But I think that's a meat. For me, I preferred the chili one, so I'm going 7.5. But still really good. At the end of the day, 7.5's a good score. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I preferred the chili one. But uh, yeah, first pizza on the page and more of many, hopefully. So uh, till next time, guys. See you on the next one. Adios. Peace.